Something that looks really scary has now happened. Is this an ominous sign for the housing market or what? Stick around for the end of this video because you're gonna understand something really important about real estate and economics that's paradoxical and that almost everyone misses and that's really important to you. And now here is that really scary looking thing. Mortgage rates are now up more than 1% off their all time low and up more than 1% year over year here on the 30 year fixed rate chart. That rate of increase has really gone up pretty substantially lately. And of course, everyone knows, right, that when mortgage interest rates go up, that hurts affordability because that increases the monthly payment for a prospective homeowner. So therefore, prices have got to come down or at least really cool off. Higher mortgage interest rates therefore generally correlate with lower housing prices, right? No. Oh, that is actually exactly wrong. Higher mortgage interest rates correlate with higher house prices, not lower house prices. This is not a hunch or a hypothesis or a theory. This is history. This is what actually happens when there are higher mortgage interest rates, prices typically rise. Let's go ahead and take a look at this really important chart that helps demonstrate this. Over the last 30 years, it has happened six different times where mortgage interest rates have risen substantially, where mortgage interest rates have risen at least 1%. That's happened six times in the last 30 years. That's what this chart demonstrates. And all six of those times, home prices rose not like four of the six times or five of the six times that mortgage interest rates rose. In fact, home prices rose all six times. I wanna tell you why this occurs and more, but first, hey, go ahead and put a like on this if you like learning something new and something paradoxical on how an economy and mortgage interest rates shape housing prices. I'd really appreciate the like. Now, you might be wondering, well, come on, under what kind of economic conditions could this take place where higher mortgage interest rates equal higher prices? How would that look and what would we be going through? Well, you know what? Basically, I already sort of gave you the tracks, the breadcrumbs, it's happening right right now for the seventh consecutive time. This chart just hasn't been updated yet. Yes, this is new. Mortgage interest rates have now risen more than 1% and home prices continue to rise. This is happening right now. So it's happened seven consecutive times. And here are those prices. Let's take a look at the latest home price chart here, just in general with what's going on nationally, those shaded areas are recessions. I'm going to come back to what happened during the 2008 global financial crisis in just a moment there where you see that rare dip in housing prices here. This shows prices for about the last 35 years. In fact, prices increased so much last year right in the face of higher mortgage interest rates that both the Wall Street Journal and Zillow reported that last year, homeowners made more from the equity gain in their home, $52,667, versus the money that they made from their job, $50,000. My goodness, that's not sustainable, but that's remarkable, and it really puts an exclamation point on how we've had high home price appreciation right in the face of higher mortgage interest rates. And by the way, that really kind of gives a new definition to the term, household income. Your household has created more income, or equity really, than your own job did last year. Well, maybe you're thinking, well, wait, is there a lag effect to this? Is this going to catch up with us? Because mortgage interest rates bottomed out in January of 2021 at 2.65% for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. That was the bottom. It's been over a year since that time. Home prices continue to rise and they're projected to continue to do so through this year. Many think even into next year. You know, one thing to understand is that nominal home prices rarely fall regardless of what's going on with mortgage interest rates. But let's go back to this price chart. I talked about this previously where the shaded areas denote recessions and the global financial crisis of 2008. When we saw prices fall nationally, wonder what happened then. Well, for one thing, we had pathetic mortgage underwriting standards where anyone could get a loan, even if they didn't have a job, and pretty soon they couldn't make the payments. And there was an oversupply of housing where today we have an undersupply of housing. That's a different story unto itself. But you know what happened in the 2008 global financial crisis and coming off that? Mortgage interest rates went down while prices went down. Meep, meep.
<laughs> yes, we continue to have this almost positive correlation between mortgage interest rates and home prices. Now, why would this happen? Well, back coming off 2008, the powers that be, like the Fed, knew that they had to lower mortgage interest rates because the economy was struggling. When people are struggling and the economy needs help, they don't feel very secure in their jobs and they're less likely to buy a home and rates are more likely to fall because people need the help. All right, so I'm kind of giving you some clues here. Why exactly are mortgage interest rates, if they've gone higher again and when they've gone 1% higher or more seven times now in the last 30 years, home prices have rose every single time? That's because when mortgage interest rates are being increased and interest rates of all types are being increased, that's confirmation that the economy is doing well. And we've had GDP increases and the unemployment rate is low and the economy is strong by conventional measures and people feel secure in their jobs. That's really the only scenario in which interest rates are going to rise significantly. And overall, home prices are what a lot of economists call downside sticky. And what that really means is that home sellers are more likely to withdraw their home from the market than sell at a loss. Because a lot of times people get sort of this emotional connection with their home. Those prices are downside sticky. The other phenomenon that's going on right now is if someone sells a home to go and get a replacement home, they would have to pay a higher mortgage interest rate. So a lot of homeowners want to hold onto their home because they probably locked it in when rates were really low. So if you have more homeowners holding onto their home where we're already in this environment of really low supply that we're going to continue to be in for a while, that that means even fewer homes come on the market and supply continues to be constrained, which continues to do what? Put more upward pressure on prices because that creates bidding wars when there's so little supply coming on the market. Also with what's happening right now in this environment is population growth is actually not that high, but you have millennials, the largest age cohort in America, they're all aging into their prime home buying years. And also it's not just about population growth, it's about really what's known as household formation. You still have a strong household formation rate. You have more people living alone. A lot of people went off and wanted to live alone in COVID. And you know, even coming off COVID, hopefully we're coming off it, but a lot of people are like, you know, I like living alone. So it's this high household formation rate. Or you might have had two people living in a home before. If you've got two people living in two homes, that creates more housing demand. All right, so what are some overall takeaways for you here with why exactly higher interest rates correlate with higher prices? Well, it's that economic and demographic factors have a lot more to do with home prices than mortgage interest rates do. Another takeaway is that yes, the monthly housing payment amount certainly matters, but when people feel stable in their job, they're more likely to want to buy a home because they feel anchored and they feel like they can afford a payment. And yes, this is all rooted in a history of what really happens. This is not a guess or a hunch or any sort of hypothesis. This is real. Hey, go ahead and put a like on this if you think you learned something or you found that this was introspective. If you're not interested in real estate investing, you might not want to stick around this channel for the long term. But if you are, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That's the only way you'll know that I have a new video here for you. We're all about real estate investing, especially for the production of cash flow through the most durable, proven wealth generator of all time, real estate investing. I'm Keith Weinhold. This is Get Rich Education. We'll see you in the next video.